Okay, boys and girls, don't be shocked. I'm in hospital. And, um, well, that's the way it is. I'm in hospital. I can hardly move. I've only got this one hand here. So, I want to get down to nitty gritty business. Meaning, I stumbled across a, a, a regional and a global currency that can be used as a regional and global currency worldwide via the internet. And is that what PayPal should have should have been? Meaning a, a, a trading platform, right? Without gov intervention. Now because this trading platform is absolutely it's a currency trading platform, is absolutely decentralized and is so hard coded and um, similar to like um, a um, what do you call it? One of these um, like bit current or whatever you want to call them or torrents. It works on the same principle peer to peer. You have no middlesman in between. Meaning a deal is a deal is a deal. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes. So, what we're we talking about here, we're talking about um, I can buy stuff with this currency and I can sell stuff with this currency. I can trade with this currency and other currencies. I can save this currency. I can do anything with this currency that I want. And what's really good is I can actually save this currency onto a stick, a USB stick. I don't know, I could save up to like $100,000 or something in, in Bitcoin, say, just to get your head around it so you understand what I'm talking about. And cross the border and not declare it. Even if I would declare it, they wouldn't even know what they're looking at. In other words, I can move money across the border and evade taxes and evade all kinds of shit. So, in other words, my diplomatic services, you know, would be open the moment I'm out of hospital. It's a great new fantastic business idea. That's what diplomats were there for. Money laundering, pushing money all over the world. Now, and instead of using their money, which they've got like locked up and um, they, they've got their fingers on it everywhere, they've got their cameras on it, they, they've got their registration buttons on it, everything is with, with their money, I say their money, the central bank's money. It doesn't matter what you write on it, dollar, euro, whatever. It doesn't really fucking matter. You know, it's all just one and the same thing. They're using special drawing rights at the moment. Money means nothing anymore. Fiat money means nothing. It doesn't matter what country you're in. The countries mean nothing anymore. Basically, you you were all living in corporations, and all the corporations are fighting out between each other. Who's going to be the rule of the world? Like, um, but they they play into their own rules, and we're left out. It's a giant club, and we're we're just not invited, right? We're we're the slaves. We've got to work it off. We've got to fight their wars. We've got to do this. We've got to do that. They've been doing it to us for thirteen, fifteen, sixteen thousand years. Who knows? Who knows how many times they've, they've rewritten history for us? I don't fucking know. I'm not particularly bothered either. What I do know is that we're uh, in a digital time, and that somebody very clever has come up with a very, very um, decentralized way of making, creating money. Now, you've got to go there yourself. Just go to bitcoin.org, read through, don't take my word for anything, and, um, and you know, I don't know. And <laughs> Get your head around it. Get your head around it. You'll, you'll need a week to get your head around it, and you, you'll be there like me. Where's the scam? Where's the hook? Where's the scam? Who's going to scam me? How can he scam me? And all the rest of it. Because I'm, I'm that type of guy, but I don't see a scam in it at all. I just do not see a scam. Obviously, there's scams like, like, like electricity could fall out, the guy could die or whatever. You know, the governments could intervene and like steal all your money or whatever. You know, all this could happen. You know, a fucking meteorite could drop on your head as well. I mean, so, so don't go in front of the house door. Don't, don't, don't fucking bother going outside anymore. Because a meteorite could drop on your head, like you know. You know what I mean? I mean, you can find a million and one reason why this should not work, but it's working. It's been up and going for a year, and um, I find it very, very interesting. And I support it. So I've decided for myself that 10% of all my earnings, all my money that I've got, is going into this. I'm going to buy and I'm going to trade only with Bitcoins, 10% every month. I've got my Excel um, tabella, it's, it's running, and I'm, it's not going to be one cent below or above it, it's going to be exactly 10%, and that's, that's my own personal word on it, I'm going to just do it. And I've already done it, I've already bought a shitload of Bitcoins as it is, and I'm already trading it as it is, so, um, you know, it's, it's, up to, it's up to everybody self, themselves to like, know what they want in life, and how to get the government out of their fucking money. Because it's a, it's a value storage, and this money just disappears. The moment you've, you've, you've taken it out of the system, it's out of the system, it's gone. 
and you start trading with it, making money with it, or you start paying people with it, and no government can intervene. Um, it's it's gone. It's, it doesn't exist for them anymore. It's like tough shit on there. So take your chance, or don't. I don't give a fuck either way. Okay. Bye bye.